for the record. Mr. Brower, I'm curious to find out, since it's not indicated, um, what this is costing Apache County, if there's any cost involved, and how much that would be. Okay. Chris? Uh, the cost to Apache County, there's no cost. It's 185000 amount on the grant and uh, the state. Okay. Uh, I would, uh, Mr. Chairman, on, on, on this issue, I guess, okay. I guess that question prompts my concern about liability. Uh, there's actually no requirement in here for the uh, people involved in this program to get consent from the adult parents of the children involved in this. And uh, I see some liability in that respect uh, as we go forward. So I'm, I'm, I'm sure County Attorney's Office reviewed it for that aspect. Uh, but. That particular issue is of great concern to me. Thank you. Yeah, and that's the reason why I usually ask whether the county attorney reviewed the agreement or document, you know, to in case there's any type of liability that might be addressed towards the board. So, with that, if there's no other question or comments, then I go ahead and call for the question. All in favor, <coughs> say aye. 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 Oppose. Nay. The ayes have it, two in favor, one opposed. Thank you, gentlemen. Is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. I'll second the motion to adjourn in public health uh, district. Okay, all in favor say aye. 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 Thank public you. health service district meetings hereby adjourn. Thank you, gentlemen. Okay, let's move on to the uh, Board of Supervisors meeting. Item one is consent item. Mr. Winger. Yes, Mr. Chairman, members of the board, item number one is the consent agenda. We have three items and we recommend approval. Okay. Gentlemen. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'll be abstaining from this just to, for expedience. I won't go into detail, but I'll abstain because the logistics of the uh, Demands issues have not been worked out between me and the finance department at this point. Okay. I'll go ahead and um, second the motion. And this is for items A, B, and C, right, Gavin? That's correct. Okay. All in favor to approve the consent items, say aye. 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 Oppose? Con and I abstain. Abstain. Okay. Two in favor. Zero opposed and one abstain. Thank you. Let's move on to item two. Good morning, Mr. Chairman, members of the board. Good morning. <clears throat> district two, discussion of possible approval to hire Paula Claw as district manager at an annual salary of 55000 Ms. Claw comes to us with uh, two master's degrees and quite a bit of previous experience in District 1 roads. Okay, gentlemen. Who are we, Is there a second? Uh, I'll second the motion to approve. Okay. Questions or comments? All uh, in favor? Uh, yes, Mr. Chairman, I, I, I do have some comments and sure. uh, I hope they'll be taken in uh, uh, good faith. Okay, Mr. Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, the issue brought forth a concern in discussion with constituents of District 3 and, and my own um, uh, because of the, uh, the appearance of uh, inappropriateness, I'll call it, uh, that exists. Uh, we have a state law uh, that clearly states that elected officials uh, will resign to run for a federal, state, or local position uh, other than the one they, they are in possession of. Uh, I do realize that the, uh, the Navajo Nation uh, positions, which are paid positions and happen to reside in our county, are not federal, state, or local positions. But we now have three individuals, three elected officials, uh, in our county that are running for different positions, uh, at three at the least I know of, uh, 
in the Navajo Nation. Uh, and those are cross-jurisdictional issues. Uh, and they're concerning to me that, um, that uh, we have officials in the county elected by the people making decisions with county funds uh, and running for other elected offices which have cross-jurisdictions. So I'll approve this item because I want the people of District 2 to be served. I'm asking the people, the elected officials who are running for other offices uh, at this time that to think about the appearance of impropriety uh, I, and what it means to the taxpayers and the fact that uh, we could be expending additional funds to uh, deal with the problems and issues of the different county departments as uh, as there's information and in, in the process is going. Excuse me. Mr. Shirley? Chairman, this is uh, inappropriate. It's got nothing to do with the, the uh, agenda item. Uh, I disagree, Mr. Shirley, Mr. Chairman. Uh, this, this very much has to do with uh, dealing with the decisions and the appropriate the behavior of the funds in the districts of our county. And whenever we make a decision to hire or increase the cost of the county, it is appropriate to talk about these issues. Mr. Weller, you know, this is to approve the uh, district manager position. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel that it has really nothing to do as well. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and call for the question. I would call for a... Uh, an, an opinion by the county attorney as to whether my opinion of how county funds are being utilized is appropriate to be discussed when we're talking about increase the county cost. Again, I'll ask the county attorney again, for that. The order, Mr. Weller. Okay. This is only to approve the, uh, the district manager. Other comments are inappropriate. So with that, to approve, motion to approve, say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Three in favor, zero opposed. Okay, let's move on to item three. Community development. Good morning, Mr. Chairman, members of the board. Good morning, Melton. The building official position has been open for about three months. We've advertised uh, twice. Uh, we expanded our search. We've identified uh, uh, the 16 applicants. We interviewed four. Robert Crum is the person that we have chosen. Uh, he is a, a certified building official. He's a previous contractor, or a current contractor with his license on hold. He has a lot of experience in, in the building field, um, as well as other experience. Uh, you know, he also has degrees and, and those things. So uh, based on his experience and his time spent uh, in, the, in this position, he was definitely the most qualified, and, and uh, we have identified him as the person we'd like to hire as the building official uh, at a higher range, 43,000. It's, it's about 6,000 plus over the starting range uh, due to his experience and certifications. We recommend approval. Okay, gentlemen. Uh, I'll motion to approve the item with a comment. Okay, there's a motion to approve. Second. Second, your comment, Mr. Weller? Yeah, just that uh, I did spend some time discussing this issue with Mr. Olderton and uh, and uh, with concern of the the hiring rate and so forth versus the experience, and I'm convinced that it's, it's an appropriate rate for, for what we're getting. It's actually less than we were paying the previous person, uh, so I think we're getting good service for what, uh, for what uh, the process has produced. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All in favor? Say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Three in favor, none opposed. Thank you. Okay, let's move on to item four, Mr. Winder. Yes, Mr. Chairman, members of the board, item number four is discussion of possible approval to increase the annual salary for Perco Constable Charlie Anderson to $36,100 as required by statute. And what this is, is every four years, the constables can come before the board to request a change in salary and this is the time that, that uh, is appropriate. We've had this research by uh, Joe Young, the county attorney's office, as well as Superior Court. And the statutes say that uh, if a constable is averaging more than 100 services per year,